Welcome to Trials in a Nutshell, a monotone, sarcastic look at the worst game mode currently available in Destiny. Whoops, did I say sarcastic? What I meant to say was, Bungie, do you even play your own game anymore? Trials is now ability spam simulator the game. Primary is not included and actual skill definitely not included. Let's begin this pointless video so I can vomit my salt-filled opinions all over you. After all, this is the internet. What else does one do here? I continue my reign as Jez the Titan Slayer Slayer of all Titans by headshotting this overconfident buffoon as he rounds the corner. I can only assume he thought he was a Stormcaller Warlock because he was trying to melee my teammate standing roughly 25 meters away. It's now round two and I hope you brought your icebreaker because special ammo doesn't exist for another 30 seconds, or in this case an eternity. I guess you could equip a sidearm and by sidearm I obviously mean Wormwood because having more than one viable weapon per archetype just isn't Bungie's style. Neither is fun or balance. One game later, it's round one again, aka time to have fun with my non-icebreaker, so ultimately irrelevant sniper rifle. My teammates, being four and a half times better than me, are thinking the same thing and instantly kill all three enemies the same way. Fun time's over. Next round, to accentuate how much fun I'm having, I wait the full 30 seconds for special ammo before entering the fray. As a special treat, I'm immediately out hardscoped by sharp 1-2-1 shooter using Trials the gun. What a god. Sometime later, I attempt to shoot a guy using what I believe to be called, quote, not an ability, stop wasting your time, unquote. Not getting the kill I desired, I throw a grenade and we instantly wipe the enemy team. Subsequently, the bungo gods reward me for finally playing the way they intended. Whose lightning grenade is this? Three shots later, I'm glad I wasted my time. Maybe I would have hit this snipe if it hadn't been 45 minutes since I last had special ammo, if only my teammates had the same problem. Someone on the enemy team has been error coded, not a problem, surely he can just reconnect. Oh wait, that's not a thing because I guess game development is hard. They tried their hardest, but obviously we're always going to lose because, well, dead meme, better luck next time. Multiple records. One game later, I set a new record by shooting a guy perfectly in between the legs doing less than zero damage. Who knew Destiny had such precise hitboxes, feels pretty bad, man. Here I place my grenade in what I think is a strategic position, only to realize I left it on the bar like an empty beer bottle, my bad. As usual, I missed the easiest headshot of all time on Evil Joker 223, so I swap to my palindrome and pretend I'm still a good player. All enemies... Sorry about the teabag. Once again, I'm desperately clinging to my special ammo, only to misjudge the cone of this lightning grenade, Coney 2012. In my frustration, I switched to the only other viable special weapon, don't hate the player, hate the game, and trust me, I absolutely hate myself. The fact that I couldn't kill this warlock in a 1v1 is probably the most angry I've been in the last seven years, including the time I came home to find someone had finished off my Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream, the greatest ice cream ever to be iced. Needless to say, I reported him for cheating and hope his account is banned indefinitely, or at least long enough for him to think about what he did wrong beat me in a video game. Reeling from my loss, I failed this jump once, almost twice in a row, prematurely ending my own career in the worst possible way. Losing to the X button. That same round, the cap point is available, and Halal Tabuli, along with having one of the greatest names of all time, pops his golden gun. Being the fearless shade step spamming god that I am, I roll towards him and fire my insect timber for the win, get on my level. I start the following round by going AFK for dramatic effect. My team needs me, however, so I return momentarily. Genji is outgunned as usual, and Jurio's solo slam is no match for the Joker 14's melee. He is a warlock after all. I proceed to clutch the round with my solo tether, surprising everyone, including me, making it precisely 4,892 tethers missed, one hit since the launch of the Taken King. The Joker 14 kindly asks everyone to wait, undoubtedly for special ammo, and I'm inclined to agree, somewhat surprised by his candid expression of interest. Anticipating some MLG snipes from your boy, I switch back to my longbow, aka please out snipe me again icebreaker. I relive my worst nightmare almost instantly as Scarecrow787 does just that and I spend the next three hours cutting myself in the bathtub. Luckily my teammates are actually good at this video game and Jurio carries me to ultimate victory while aggressively teabagging for reasons unknown. He is a titan after all. We arrive at the empty golden tower, I mean lighthouse, jumping gleefully toward the big box of loot, Cade 6 not included. I receive what can only be described as the worst hand cannon of all time, and disciplined strength boots which I did need, but with shotgun ammo and last hope which I did not need. Long story short, Osiris F you and your stupid effing trial. See you again next weekend. This was Trials in a Nutshell. Leave a like to keep my channel alive or simply because you like the video, I guess it's irrelevant. Or maybe it isn't. Check out my Iron Banner in a Nutshell video on screen right now if you haven't already. I'm the Jazz. God bless. You're super cute.